Dexter, a fawn-coloured French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. But this morning, Peanut didn't arrive and there was no line of dogs waiting. In fact, there hasn't been a line for a while now. Dexter's detective hat is hidden under his bed and he's curled up near his human's feet as she types on her computer. He's deep in thought. I do not understand why she has not left for work. It has been four days and nine hours since I've had the apartment to myself. Uh, seems like a case for detective. Dexter! Dexter! Are you in there? Dexter quickly runs out of the living room and down the hallway. There you are! Shh! My human is home. Oops, sorry. My humans went out, so I came as fast as I could. My human is sick and has not moved. In fact, a stranger has been coming to walk me. Very uncomfortable. But I suspect she is getting better. Well, at least she's not putting you in a new outfit every day. Look what the kids put me in today. Peanut turns around to reveal a pink tutu. Oh, dear. <laughs> this one isn't even that bad. You should have seen me as an Ewok yesterday. Dexter's eyes widen and his ears perk up. My human is coming. Hide! The rabbit has left the building. What? Uh, the hawk has flown the coop. Huh? The coast is clear. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> so, when do we get back to investigating? Monday morning. By then, I hope my human has stopped sneezing and goes back to work. Until then, I can make no moves. Hmm. Well, what about getting a stuffed animal that looks just like you and putting it on your bed? I snore. And loudly. <laughs> I think this silence would be a dead giveaway. Oh, oh, what about when she's sleeping? Hmm. Peanut, you are brilliant. Mm -hmm. We can do our detective work at night. At least, for now. Oh, I love staying up late. And I love my sleep. <laughs> but I will do whatever it takes to keep our city safe. Come back later and we will get back to business. You got it, Double D. That's why they call us the D-Team, because we get it done! Shh! Oops, sorry. Oh, time for my dinner. Hmm, no human, empty food bowl, something is amiss, why is she not home, perhaps she is lost, this is not good, I must start a search, Peanut, Dexter, is it already night time, no, it is an emergency, my human is not home, my dinner is 10 minutes late, which could only mean she is missing. Oh, jeez. You must be worried. How are we going to find her? We must ask every dog in the city to be on the lookout. We can ask Gary Garbage to help patrol the neighborhood. Great thinking, Peanut. I'll make the announcement. Oh! Oh! Attention, Attention all, all dogs. dogs! We have a, a missing human. human. Repeat. A missing human! Be on the lookout 
for Dexter's Human. Copy that. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. Thank you, everyone. Now to find Gary Garbage. Peanut and Dexter head down to the alley behind the building where all the garbage goes. They see something rustling about in one of the dumpsters. Gary? Is that you? Who's there? Uh, I, I can't see. Take that trash back off your head, silly. Ah, much better. Hi, guys. What's going on? My human is not home, and it is past dinner time. We have alerted all the neighboring dogs to be on the lookout. Ah, and now you need old Garbage Gary to start a search. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to sniffing. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. Down 6th Avenue. I smell it too. Oh no, her scent is getting further and further away. Maybe she took a cab. It's okay. My nose has never let me down before. They continue to sniff when they hear a familiar howling behind them. It's Iris, the Irish trotter. Well, Marcus told me that Rufus told him that he saw your human walking a young golden doodle out of the shelter. <gasps> She is with another dog? Guess so. She was not lost. She was just picking up a new dog. How exciting! It's a new addition to the family. But I have always been the only dog. Well, you better hurry back. They're almost home. Merci, Dana and Iris. Dexter and Peanut run back to the alley and up the fire escape steps faster than their little legs have ever gone until they finally reach Dexter's terrace. That's why they call us the D-Team, because we get it! Good night, Peanut. Suddenly, Dexter hears his human's keys. Before Peanut can say goodbye, Dexter is already through the window and running towards the door. Peanut turns around to go home. Back in Dexter's apartment, the door starts to open. His human walks in, followed by a cream and white golden doodle, twice the size of Dexter. Hi, Dex. Come meet Lily. We'll be fostering her for a little while till she gets adopted. Lily starts sniffing around the kitchen. A foster pup? Uh, I suppose I would not mind a sibling, so long as it is temporary. Something smells delicious. What's your name? Oh, look, our fur is the same color. Why are you so short? You want to play? Uh, oh, no. 